Hey guys, this is Austin over at Morgan City Ford and today I have a brand new 2023 Ford Expedition Timberline. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so here we are on the outside of our brand new 2023 Ford Expedition Timberline. The Timberline is the off-road trim level of the Expedition. It's like a trimmer or Raptor version. And the off-road really starts with where the rubber meets the road, the tires and wheels. So you can see here, these are your 18 inch uh, blacked out wheels with Goodyear Wrangler mud and snow rated tires and then there's also specific suspension components that come with the Timberline that basically just give you more uh, articulation as well as suspension travel when you're going off-road you'll also notice all of the orange tow hook and orange accents on the inside and exterior of the vehicle this one has the shadow package which gives you uh, blacked out everything so blacked out headlights blacked out grill blacked out bumpers blacked out taillights blacked out mirror caps. Notice your full LED reflector beam headlights with a daytime running light all the way around the outside. I'll turn those on here in a minute so you can check those out. You have these nice platform style blacked out side rails that make it super easy to get inside. This one does have the 360 camera on it as well. And notice your Timberline badge right here on the side. It's a really good looking badge. They do have different models of the Timberline as well. There is an Explorer Timberline and now the Expedition Timberline. One of the nice parts about the Expedition is that it's a body on frame traditional SUV, which means you can tow with it, you can go off road with it, you can throw a lot of stuff inside of it. And you'll notice all of your rear suspension components, your full size spare tire. This does have the high output three and a half liter EcoBoost V6. One of the best parts about buying a new vehicle from Morgan City Ford here in Morgan City, Louisiana is the 20 year, 200,000 mile nationwide powertrain warranty. It only has a hundred dollar deductible. And if you're more local to the area, it has a oil change and inspection sticker for life, which means we're gonna do all of your oil changes and your inspection stickers for as long as you own the vehicle, which can save you, you know, thousands of dollars uh, if you own the vehicle for a long time. You can see here, your daytime running lights right there. Look really, really great. I'll give it a remote start real quick so you can hear it start up. It does have a bit of a different exhaust note than the other Expeditions. One of my favorite parts about the Expedition, you've got this orange trimming along the back here, but you do also have a open up rear glass. A lot of SUVs are moving away from this, but it's an extremely helpful, nice feature to have that allows you to reach into the back of the vehicle, no problems. And then you can close it up nice and easy. Here's the key fob. It's a regular board key fob. We'll open up the rear there. You can see in the back behind the third row, here's all of your extra room. This one's the regular length wheelbase Expedition. There is a long wheelbase Expedition. However, I don't believe that you can get the Timberline in the long wheelbase. If you look here, you'll notice the power buttons for the power folding second and third row seats. You'll notice the orange stitching on the leather. This, you'll notice this on the entire interior of the vehicle. There's also a 12 volt plug right here. There's also some USBs and some buttons there to power recline, as well as cup holders and nice big windows and air vents here in the third row. I'll show you that more as we get inside. The button to close this hatch right here on the corner, just give it a push, power closes right up. We'll head into the second row seats next. And that front seat, by the way, is all the way back and all the way down. You'll notice the orange stitching on the door here as well. It's a nice leatherette soft touch material here. Very good to rest your arms on, soft touch. Another little cup holder here, your power window switch, your door handle, classic Ford truck or SUV door handle. This one does have the B&O sound system. These are your second row captain's chairs. They do have latch points along with all of the orange stitching on the seat as well, just like we see everywhere else in this Timberline. But I'll give you a quick view of that. Getting into the third row is nice and easy with the tip and slide seats. The best part about the tip and slide seats is you can leave the car seat in place and it tip forwards and slides. Looking at your third row, it's a nice spacious third row with a lot of amenities. Once again, orange stitching. Now what's cool is you do have latch points in the third row as well, so you can actually put a rear facing car seat back here if you needed to. It's one of the few SUVs I've seen that actually has that feature, but it means a lot for people who really need it. In terms of second row amenities, you'll notice you've got heated captain's chairs, a house plug, your own zone of climate, 
two USBs, a 12 volt down below, and another little storage area. So tons of room for storage as well as connectivity. Two cup holders there. You've got that cup holder on the door and then storage in each of the seat backs. There is also a rear seat entertainment package where you can get TVs on the back of the front seats. And you'll also notice this massive panoramic sunroof. It does have a power shade. I'll show you that here shortly. But real quick, taking a look up at the front, you've got the big 12 inch vertical display digital gauge cluster. I'll go over all those features once we step up front. Here's your camera for your 360 camera system. There's also one on the front. You do have the keypad there for unlocking the doors. And looking at the front doors, same design as we had in the rear with the leather orange stitching at the top. Nice soft touch at the elbow. Three-way memory seats, power door locks, power mirrors, power windows. There's your B&O sound system. More storage in the door power seats with power lumbar. These front seats are heated and cooled. Nice little Easter egg here on the inner door. Looks really great along with all that orange on the dash. Power steering column. Start it up real quick. Turn the audio down and you'll notice your power parking brake, the third row headrest fold, the rear gate, automatic headlamps, spotlights on the side mirrors, power adjustable pedals, all right there and convenient. Steering wheel, it's your traditional Ford steering wheel, although it does have the orange stitching because once again, it's the Timberline. Full digital gauge clusters that keeps track of your seat belts and you can customize this and change it out for whatever want you want. Uh, like I said, it does have the tow package on this one. So you've got the trailer backup assist as well as the trailer brake controller. Start button, nice and easy to get to. Looking at this 12 inch display, it's nice and big. You've got apps, you've got games in here. You've got these cool sliders where you can slide from heated to cooled or off seats, heated seat. Here's your fan speed. You can slide that up or down as well. And actually we'll show you how quickly the fan is moving, which is a really fun little uh, thing to play with. Going up at the top here, you do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here as well. You have a sketch app under entertainment. You've got all sorts of games that you can play while you're sitting and waiting in the school line or in the parking lot or whatever. Up front, you do have the wireless charger with two USBs. Nice expedition badge there and you'll notice your rotary dial shifter. This is for your rear locking differential, which this truck does have because it's off-road base. This is how you can manually switch through the gears. Right behind that, we've got our drive mode selector with your four-wheel drive controls all the way around. There are a bunch of different drive modes on here. When I turn this dial, you'll see we've got normal, we've got eco, we've got sport, we've got tow haul, mud and ruts, sand, slippery, and then back to normal. So tons of different drive modes. You do have the off-road, uh, trail control as well, which works like an off-road cruise control, but just a really great center console layout. Opening this up, nice big center console with an organizer. There is also a 12 volt in there for more additional power, and you can put a safe in there if you decide that you want that as well. Looking up top, these are the controls for your uh, sunroof as well as the sunshade. So because of that power shade, you can shut it and basically get all of the light out of here on a hot summer day when you don't want all that. One thing that's really nice about this expedition is you'll notice that it has the Kentucky truck plant logo there in the corner of the windshield, letting you know that this was built in Kentucky by Real Americans, which is a great point of this truck. You do have the locking glove box with all your expedition manuals in there, as well as an upper glove box for even more storage, just depending on what your storage needs are. We'll pop the hood next and I'll show you the power plant. If I can find, oh, it's right there. says Expedition in the headlights, one of my favorite exterior points. And here we are. This is your 3.5 liter high output EcoBoost. It's a great powertrain. It's been out for a long time, makes a ton of power, gets you really decent fuel economy for a vehicle this large. And this vehicle does have some great get up and go, especially in sport mode. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. I'll give you one final exterior walk around just in case I missed anything on my original one. But thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any other vehicles in particular, please leave those in the comments below. I'll try and get them for you. Try and get them on the channel. That way you guys can watch them. Just a really beautiful SUV here. It takes the Expedition to another, you know, tier of SUV. Um, it's kind of similar to what they did with the Tahoe RST for the long time. A Tahoe was just a utilitarian 
family hauler and then when they came out with the RST it really opened up that sporty muscle version of the truck and Ford's doing a similar here similar thing here with this Timberline and I think they did an amazing job last but not least I'm gonna go over the window sticker with you guys that way you can see pricing and everything about this vehicle that way if I missed anything in terms of the feature pack you know that it exists looking here at your window sticker this is a 2023 Timberline three and a half liter high output EcoBoost with a 10 speed here's all your standard equipment and then here's all your optional equipment here and then you can see your fuel economy numbers your safety ratings your Ford pass information feel free to pause and check anything out with an MSRP of 84205 thanks for watching guys like I said if you have any questions leave them below I'll be happy to answer them. if you like the channel if you like the videos make sure to like and subscribe I would love that it would help out the algorithm a lot in terms of boosting these videos so that more people can see them and more people can subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day